Holler Rock, here's the breakdown for you. So we're gonna start with level one. Level one is gonna involve tucking the knees, all right? You're gonna see this is that first position, feet are together. I want you to see that the back is super flat here. I'm pushing that belly button through the spine. With here, your head might get a little bit tired. If you need to support it with your hands, that's totally cool. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna keep palms up, shoulders back. You can see the shoulders are up and then the hips are up. I would then slowly just start to rock and as I rock, I'm contracting those abdominals and it's just going back and forth. Look how controlled it is. It isn't all over the place. Okay, we're gonna keep it nice and tight like so, okay? Level two, we would then play with one leg position, all right? That's gonna look like so. We'll start in that same position and then what I'll do is I'll put one leg out. Notice the quad is contracted and I'm pointing the toes away. Head is still tucked and then it's just back and forth. See how my entire body is moving in unison. The top half and the bottom half is working together, okay? Our third option will then really, really challenge it uh, with both legs being out, okay? This is gonna be uh, pretty tough if you've never done the hollow rock before. Palms are still up, shoulders back, and then it's just back and forth. Look at the control of this. I can definitely feel this pressing my back into the ground, getting those abs rolling a little bit, all right? That's option three, okay? With option four, it's gonna require your arms to be up overhead and then also the legs to be out in front, just like we demoed in three. So I'm gonna hit that same setup, shoulders tucked, both legs are gonna go out. You can raise and lower the legs to help keep that back down. Arms are then gonna come up right by my ears and then it's back and forth back and forth, that same exact motion that you guys saw on the first four options. Uh, that's the hollow rock for you.